pay no attention to that uh, homemade fake Sinclair gas pump holding a bunch of Hot Wheels and Matchbox and a few other brands. Pay no attention to what's over here in the Jeff Gordon collection. Today's video is about two of my favorite 1 18th scale die cast in my collection. And they're sitting on top of bins number three and four of the massive die cast and memorabilia collection that was left to me by my brother-in-law. And uh, we'll go through those in the next video. Today, I want to share with you my 67 Chevelle SS396 and my 72 Chevelle SS454. And we'll get these off the bases so we can take a closer look at them. And even later in the video, we'll go over the specs and the prices in real life of these vehicles and talk about inflation even as the prices of these cars went through the roof from 1967 to 1972. So hold on and we'll be back in just a minute. Okay, here we are. Got the cars off the base. Now in the beginning on the base you saw there was no manufacturer name on the 67 and there's no manufacturer on the bottom. Uh, but I happen to remember buying this one myself and this is a road signature which is also a Yat Ming company. So, 67 Chevy Chevelle SS396 has one of the features I really like are the red line tires. I'm thinking seriously, if and when I buy new tires for my 67 El Camino, that I wanna get red line tires with no raised white letters. I think that'll look really sharp. So this car has opening hood, chromed out detailed engine, doesn't look too bad. It has uh, clear plastic inserts and amber inserts for the running light, clear plastic for the headlights, got a license plate, Tires turn, steering wheel turns with them, has opening doors with a detailed interior. And also has an opening trunk. Red plastic inserts for the tail lights with the blacked out SS panel in the back, clear inserts in the bumper for the reverse lights, very nicely detailed. One of my favorites. One day I hope they come out with a 67 El Camino in 118 scale because I will certainly snatch that up. Now that's a road signature. This uh, 72 Chevelle SS454 is a Maisto and my youngest son got this for me for either Christmas or birthday present many years ago. Again, nice detailing. Got a Montana license plate on it. Clear plastic headlights. Got the nice amber or orange uh, turn signal lights in the back got the nice red plastic tail lights got the dual exhaust with the chrome tips raised white letter tires and the chrome wheels again the hood opens on this one too and a much more detailed engine compartment as you can see 
not as much chrome or no chrome really because they're uh, more of a silver painted color instead of chrome which I like that I'm not a chrome guy I like the 454 uh, label on the breather and it's even got spark plug wires nice detail windshield wipers got a black vinyl top the doors open the wheels turn stern wheel turns with them nicely detailed interior and the trunk also opens and got a spare tire with a cover over it even got the little Chevelle badge on the uh, back of the deck lid. I like the uh, racing stripes and cowl induction on the cow hood. So, like I said, two of my favorite 118 scale die cast in my collection. And the rest of the video is maybe not for everybody and you can stop watching whenever you want to i've got a lot of uh information about these cars in real life as far as what they cost uh what inflation was like in that five-year period when you consider the average cost of an automobile in 67 and what this cost and then the average cost of an automobile in 72 and what that cost also uh you know, other things like what was a person's wages from 67 to 72? What did a house cost? What did gasoline cost? And then I've got uh, some information on the specs on each one of these cars, how many were made, and different specifications that you got from the factory. So if you like that kind of stuff like I do, statistics, then enjoy the rest of the video. If not, Drop out now and we'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.